This happened to both of my under eyes during the time that I had under eye filler. Uh, hi. So I don't know how I want to start this. I wanted to talk to you guys about under eye filler. Some of you who've been subscribed for a while might already know the story and this whole situation. But, um, you know, since I did a lot of these videos, um, I got a lot more subscribers. Uh, and a lot of you may have subscribed or come here because of my like dark circle content. And maybe you have some of these like thoughts or problems or whatever. I just wanna talk about this because I think it's really important. So really quick, I'm gonna probably just insert the photo, but let me just make sure that I have it because otherwise, why are we even doing this? Let me just insert it so it's easier for you guys to see, but God damn, bruh. God damn. All right, if you take a good look at that, that was a side effect of having under eye filler that didn't start to show itself until about, I wanna say a year and a half in maybe a year in and it was like slow. And it basically looks like I have a, like I got punched in the eye. This happened to both of my under eyes during the time that I had under eye filler. So if you don't know, just a really quick summary, um, about four years ago-ish, I got under eye filler under both of my eyes for um, sunken under eye and also to help with the darkness, the dark circles that I have. And I basically never really liked the way that it looked. Uh, it kind of like, it would look really good when it was first done. And then it would kind of settle into these like lima bean looking things. If you look at old videos, you might actually be able to see it. And I kind of just dealt with it for a while because I knew it would be expensive to get it dissolved. Um, the reason that I got it, like I said, was for dark circles and um, hollow under eyes. And that was like probably my biggest insecurity since I was about uh, old enough to have them. <laughs> so I don't know, 10 or 11. I had it for two years and I ended up getting it dissolved. And when I got it, the reason that I got it was dissolved was because of those side effects. And when he dissolved it, I went to a completely different person, um, an actual like eye doctor guy. Uh, he was great. If I can remember Zumalman, was that his last name? I'll link, I'll link him. I realized how much I actually liked my natural under eyes so much better. <laughs> And it was kind of like I had to go through that experience, this whole shitty experience where my eyes would blow up if I had like a cold or a virus because your immune system is like, I have to attack everything that isn't supposed to be here. And they're like, you're not supposed to be in here. Uh, and it would get super swollen and painful. Uh, sometimes it would just hurt if like I had a cold, but yeah, it would swell up. It would be really red and almost impossible to cover up. It was horrible. After a little while, rather than and I have the photo, it looked like the filler was trying to like come out of my skin. Like it was trying to escape my face. It was, it was like such a horrible experience. It, nothing went well at all. Uh, I did it because I was insecure about my under eye situation and um, it ended up not being worth it at all. I'm really glad that I did it because now I look back and I think it was a stupid decision. If I could do it again, I wouldn't. Um, but I am really glad that I did it because it made me really appreciate like my actual anatomy. So one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this is because these are side effects that maybe some people have talked about. I feel like I've seen a few people talk about it since I have, but it's not that well known. And filler has gotten so mainstream that it's, I mean, it's happening everywhere. It isn't just like a Hollywood thing. It isn't just an influencer thing anymore. It's everywhere. Uh, and I think people don't really like consider how serious it can be and what the side effects are, um, especially those ones, <laughs> I didn't know about them. I wanted to share my experience because I know that, that it's become more prevalent. Also things like Botox. Um, the reason that I wanna talk about this is not just to tell you that I had these side effects and you shouldn't do it. Uh, I don't think any less of anyone who has done, you know, who has gotten Botox or has got, I've considered like in my mind, I haven't actually like, gone and done it or had a consultation or anything, but I've definitely considered those things um, like Botox, even since the filler, just because it's hard not to when you see other people doing it around you and like women are supposed to be smooth for their whole lives or whatever. But the reason that I'm brought, bringing this up is because it's less about that. It's less about those decisions, making those decisions and doing those things. It's more about why do we think that it'll make us more confident? Because oftentimes if you ask somebody like why they wanna get a boob job or why they wanna get under eye filler or lip filler or Botox, it's to like feel better. 
you know, like feel better about myself. Maybe I want to look a little bit younger or I don't like like this line that's coming in. I don't like it. So I want, you know, I want to smooth it out. Why? Why is getting rid of that line and plumping up those under eyes and plumping up those lips going to make you feel better about yourself? And I think that's like the biggest question. And I would be interested in hearing from you guys why, if you've considered that, not just like, well, I think it'll make me more confident or it'll make me feel better about myself or it'll make me less insecure, but why will it do those things? I wanna have that discussion with you. I think it's important. And um, especially in the beauty community, especially like influencers, I live in LA, okay? The shit is everywhere. People are getting work done all over the place. It's become mainstream and I'm, I reject it. I'm at a point where I want to reject it. I really like my face. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I've got this anger line coming in like really strong here <laughs> or like worry lines or you know, my lips are gonna get thinner as I get older or like my under eyes are gonna get like saggier or whatever. But I actually think that's a good thing. And this is literally just a PSA. So I wanna to talk to you guys about that in the comments. I'm interested in your thoughts. Um, again, no like shade to anyone who's had anything done. I mean, I did, you know, and I had a bad experience with it and that has kind of like informed my opinion about it now. And I just don't, I don't think it's like that simple, so. Uh, but one of the main reasons that I wanted to talk about this was just because I have a lot of content about like being insecure about my like dark circles and how to conceal them and all of that stuff. And I've kind of reached a point where like the majority of the time I'm going out, no makeup. <laughs> I mean, I recorded recently that video where it's like how to feel a little bit more comfortable or confident when you're not wearing makeup. And I think that that's like the important stuff that we should be talking about. Um, cause I feel pretty fucking good about myself right now. I'm not wearing any makeup. That's literally it. I just wanted to chat about that. Uh, I'll give you a quick little zoom in of my under eye if you're new and you like don't know the sitch. So basically like I've essentially had this anatomy my entire life. My under eyes are a little bit more hollow. They go in a little bit. Uh, I have this pigment that is hereditary. You know, my dad has it. My uh, dad's side of the family has it. Like this shit isn't gonna go away, you know? And I actually think I like it. It makes me look like me. You know what I mean? So my skin and my under eyes have looked brighter as I've like, you know, had been drinking more water and like eating healthy and sleeping well, obviously, but they're never gonna go away fully. They're never gonna go away because they're just like part of my anatomy. So I think that we should like embrace those things and think about and also talk about why we don't like them. Like why r really? And should, should we not, you know? That's it. Don't know how to end this random thought that popped into my head that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, and if you are, if you desperately want to get any kind of filler, any kind of work done at all, please don't go to a med spa. Please don't go to a med spa. Go to a doctor. Like look up the best person, look up testimonials, have a consultation. You should be walking into a doctor's office, okay? If there's like lit candles, and all the fake flowers and like, if it looks like a nail salon, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to sign off, so I'm just gonna go.